Exit Mbuvingunze and enter Sebastian Mikosh, the man from Poland who is tasked with turning around the fortunes of Kenya Airways. In his own words, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner is one of the main tools he hopes will give the airline a competitive edge in the prevailing environment of fierce competition. My vision was and is, and I shared it with the board, that we should be sticking to the 787 as a very good aircraft that we can operate and that gives us on the short term exactly what we need. So this aircraft gives us everything. If the airline's financial position improves, Mikos has expressed his desire to have more Dreamliners. Now you have to understand that if we want to control the costs on this long-haul aircraft, you have to acknowledge that the more you have of the same type of fleet, the better your costs are. The more you start in complexifying the fleet, then the more the cost goes up. The new CEO has had five executives from Poland whom he worked with at Lord Polish Airlines to assist him to zero in on the strategic direction for the airline. And they could hit the ground within, I think, three weeks, yes. Now, will they stay, will they not stay? Uh, that's not decided. I mean, they are not here to take anybody's jobs. They're here to provide Sebastian with the knowledge and the information he needs in order to help turn around the airline. And this has been approved. It has been approved by the board for a three-month period. As Sebastian has said, whether we extend it or not will be dependent on the results and whether what the needs are at the time. Kenya Airways is in the midst of a turnaround strategy dubbed Operation Pride, which was launched during the previous CEO's tenure. Mikosh says he is looking into ways of reducing the number of outstanding projects without compromising on the level of output. This Operation Pride that is so important in, in, this, in this company is absolutely my top priority and I don't even want to change the name because I think it's a very good name and everybody knows it. What I've discovered in the last year and I've been here now, almost a year now, this airline is a good airline. It's fundamentally the foundations are sound. Over the years things have, been, have slipped a little and that's what we need to fix. According to the new chief executive, Nairobi's position as a regional hub has the potential of being exploited further for financial gains by the airline. And we can strengthen it and both strengthen and benefit from it by having more, more for example, daily connections. I just mentioned Abidjan, but there are other cities where I think we should be flying in a more consistent way to have more business traffic because this is what I see as a vision that will strengthen this five-year plan and that will strengthen the financial um, basis of, of, of KQ. Mikosh proposes that pilots be trained locally as a long-term solution to stem the hemorrhage to the Gulf's carriers. Alex Mwangi, NTV.